This week, I'm going to show you my sketchbook from Inktober. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel. My name is Jose, and I go by City Aperture. And this week, I'm going to have a project as much as something I've been working over throughout the whole month, which is my sketchbook with all my drawings for Inktober. Um, yeah, we're going to show you that real quick. Here's a bit of a mess, it's been raining a lot. Let me figure it out later. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm going to show you. Uh, I don't know if how many people are familiar with what Inktober is, but I'll show you a little bit about that once we get started. Um, I know it's kind of a quick and not the most exciting video this month, especially since you guys were so supportive this past video with the pumpkin. So, it's done really well, views-wise, well, well for my channel. Um, but yeah, I got other things in the works, so that's why I'm doing this this week. So, let's get to that. This is my notebook from Inktober 2018. Uh, if you don't know what Inktober is, I'll leave a link in the description um, to it. But it's basically every day out of the month of October you do a drawing an ink based drawing. So this year I actually did it. I've been thinking about it for a while. So I'm going to go through and flip through every drawing I did. Um, I know some people, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen most of them. Um, and next year maybe we'll do it together. I, I know a few of the people have asked me to let them know next year when it's going to happen. So we'll go from there. But you know, for now, let's go through and we'll go through day by day. Day number one. And I'll have to flip back and forth a few times. But here we go. This was October 1st. And, you know, just a very simple drawing of a fish. I was playing with some uh, alcohol markers that I had just gotten. You know, it was the first one. One of the harder things for me sometimes is doing something every day. Coming up with a drawing every day. This is the wing of a plane. I wasn't flying in October. But uh, I, actually, this is the background of my iPhone. What else show you guys in? Here is a little architectural sketch. We're on the third. And they were just you know messing around with some stadium design. I'm actually working on some stadium stuff at my job currently, so you know, it's just a quick sketch, nothing official. Moving on to the fourth. Here we go. That is yeah, I was just trying to do an abstract drawing of with you know, it was bubbles supposed to, supposedly, and it's clearly the shape of uh, the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Again, another quick drawing, trying to figure out something. Here we got Baby Groot, a little drawing. I think this day I was uh, pressed for something to to do, and I was pressed for time. Here's a little cityscape. I haven't been drawing uh, two-point perspectives in a while, so I wanted to do something. You know, add as much detail as possible. I'll also include images or scans of each one of these drawings when I get a chance. There we go. This is the 7th, which was the day of the Columbia, Maryland Maker Fair. And this is just a sketch from the stage we were on. We were at the Chrysalis stage, which has this crazy roof on it. You guys should look it up. It's an amazing, uh, amazing structure. Here we go. October 8th, which is actually my anniversary. Which is what prompted me to do a quick sort of abstract drawing of a heart. But I want it to be very architectural, very hard line. So, yeah. I'm actually happy with that one. <laughs> so here's the ninth. Again, I had a little more time. So this is a pattern that's all made out of, with drawing utensils. And the idea behind this is that there'd be four of them to sort of make, you know, a circle. A square within a square and then a center. Uh, one of these days I'll finish up this pattern, see what it actually looks like. But yeah, the idea was, you know, it's a piece of a larger pattern here. Another kind of architectural little pattern. It was just messing around with shapes, and repetitive shapes, and stippling. Mm. Here is uh, the 11th. And if you don't know me well, I do love Peanuts. Um, the cartoon, not... The nut. Um, actually, I think I said that when I posted this on Instagram. I, I don't mind the nut either, but just not peanut butter form. But yeah, this is just a quick drawing, sort of flipping 
you know, usually it's uh, Snoopy on top of the house, so this time I flipped it and I put the house on top of Snoopy. Just taking a nap. There we go. Um, this is <laughs> inspired by my dog. He has one of these little red uh, dog toys, sort of a fuzzy dog toy. Uh, another one where I think I didn't have a lot of time. Being October, I just started their Halloween theme. Yeah, it's kind of eh. Here we go, doing a little space architecture. Uh, just, I forget what I was wanting. Maybe watch the movie, and I was just inspired to do a space station. So, that was a quick, quick space station drawing. This is one of my cats, Rody, actually. Named after a war machine from the Marvel movies. He was just laying on the on the couch watching TV with me actually. So I did a quick sketch of him. Again all on me. This is a funny story actually. This is a drawing of a little piggy bank I have in my dresser. And uh, I fill it up throughout the year and every year I empty it out. This is uh, making it past the 15th. This is the first of the second half of the month, the 16th. 17th, again another kind of just elevation architectural drawing, just books, don't know why. Uh, this drawing on the 18th, I remember I was drawing it because we were talking about uh, travel plans and whatnot, so I just did a quick drawing of a globe, not very simple, straightforward. 19th, again another uh, this is Charlie Brown, obviously, from the Peanuts cartoon. Um, this I should have since I was feeling that day. It wasn't a bad day. It was just sort of a frustrating, a lot going on kind of day. So I made a quick drawing of uh, Charlie Brown. The Metro here in Washington, D.C. Uh, this is actually the station near my job. Shaw. Where I was waiting for the Metro. So I just did a quick sketch. Forget where I was going. Is where I started doing some more color drawings because I had wanted to test out this alcohol based markers I got. I'll show them to you after. But this is a drawing I, I sometimes play a video game that has this kind of a this kind of graphics to it. So it's a self portrait of myself and Rody again. Mostly Rody because the Chala and my other cat's black, so it's hard to draw her. <laughs> Just a quick architectural drawing of a column. Simple, straightforward, hard line. This is 23rd. I forget the exact reason why I drew this. I think uh, I was just trying to come up with a uh, sort of Halloween mask design. I forget if we're going to go to a party or something, but you know, I was just trying to do like a steampunk devil mask. So that's a quick little design there. This one, I wanted to draw a ship in a bottle, but I didn't want to draw the typical ship in a bottle. So this is a spaceship in a bottle. I may one day do this for real. I may try and figure that out. I don't know how I would make that, but we'll figure it out one day. Love origami. Hardline drawing of a crane. This is where in the 25th. Just around the corner now. We're almost done. Uh, this is lunchtime on the 26th. This is actually the top of the Founders Library over at my job. A quick sketch, nothing crazy. Not that happy with it. I'll have to do it again one day. Getting closer to Halloween, this is the 27th. And uh, I like the Nightmare Before Christmas. Actually, this is the one mask I own uh, for like Halloween. So I just did a quick drawing. Actually, happy with how it came out. The Mystery Mission. Love cartoons, love me some Scooby Doo, as you've seen. I love peanuts as well. Um, one day I'm gonna color this. Is good elevation. One day I'm gonna color this when I get more comfortable with the markers, because um, I actually have all the colors to do it. So I should just do it. But yeah, I was happy with this how it came out. I'm gonna practice on a copy of it first. Keeping keeping going with cars from cartoons. The Jetsons car. This one is colored with those alcohol based markers. Twenty ninth. And then these are the last two that if you follow me on Instagram you have not seen. One is a quick concept for a ray gun. Uh, 
this is kind of your typical ray gun, the stereotypical ray gun, if you will. I've been meaning to design, what I think I'm going to design, model, maybe 3D print or sculpt my own ray gun of my own design. This is kind of a first shot at it. Probably will end up looking nothing like that, but it's also a way of testing out those markers that I've been talking about. And on the 31st, I drew the Monster House. Um, I don't know if you've seen the cartoon, the Monster House. Funnily enough, I haven't seen it. I've been meaning to watch it. I really should watch it one of these days. But uh, I like the idea of this house becoming a monster. I want to add color to it as well. I'm going to practice on the uh, uh, Xerox of it. So there you have it. That is 31 days of ink drawing that I did for Inktober 2018. I know this is not the typical project I put on this channel. Um, but that's because I'm, to be honest, I'm biding a little bit of time to the next project which is coming up. I'm working on a few things. So this is a quick one. Quick, easy to edit video and something I've been working all month. So I just want to share with you guys. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Follow the channel, all that stuff. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me which drawing you like best. Uh, that's it. I'll, I'll try and put scans as well. Thanks everybody for watching. Talk to you guys next week. If you guys like this project, then maybe you'll enjoy the podcast that I do with my two colleagues, Claudia and Ray. We discuss purpose-driven design, making, and manufacturing. We talk about architecture. We talk about all sorts of making. We have a project of the week. So, uh, yeah, please check it out. Again, it's called The Made Podcast. Thanks so much.